Good morning, distinguished uh, panels, uh, fellow colleagues, and interns facilitator. I am honored today to present the research entitled Improving Security Industry Management in the Klang Valley, Realigning uh, Market Needs with Strategies. This is the content and structure for the research, which is uh, pretty straightforward. From the information gathered so far, as you can see, the latest uh, figure shows that uh, there are 688 security companies, almost 70% are operating in the Klang Valley, uh, out of the total number of uh, 902 security companies in Malaysia. The security industry employs uh, more than uh, 1, uh, 170,000 people about uh, 140,000 or 81% or of them are locals, while the rest, uh, about 32,000 Nepalese, represents a total of almost 19% of the total number of security personnel in Malaysia. You can uh, also see some financial figures and uh, training statistics as well. Very briefly, uh, the Private Agencies Act 27 of 1971 defines private agency business as uh, persons who conduct security and protection for other people or for safety of properties or other businesses or together and to provide information on the behavior, activities or the affairs of others. Uh, while the Electronic Security Industry Management System or eSIMS uh, is the online management system currently being used. I was made to understand that the system was uh, developed in-house by the Ministry of Home Affairs. Basically, it manages the databases, uh, for example, uh, license renewal of security companies and security vetting of guards. On why I choose this topic, um, I came across this article uh, entitled PIKM or Persatuan Industri Keselamatan Malaysia A Shore Batal Lesen Syarikat Gaji Pengawal Keselamatan Haram which is quite recent. I believe it was uh, published on 25th April this year. Uh, you can probably uh, Google it. Uh, just type PIKM Shore Batal uh, you will be able to see. Uh, the article also highlighted that, uh, some of the main issues and challenges facing the security industry. It touches on the minimum wage of uh, 1,200, uh, compliance to the law, and uh, of course on unlicensed companies. Uh, I hope to gather more information as I move forward with the research. Based on the issues and challenges uh, that I've gathered so far, I identified the key components of the security guard industry using the PES analysis uh, in order to frame the objectives for the research. I've uh, listed the four main points which I will explain in the, in the subsequent uh, slides. On political, uh, the law that governs the security industry is the Private Agencies Act 1971 or Act 27. And also uh, it is supported by various circulars and direction letters. I think it is uh, imperative that ministries and relevant agencies amend and reform laws under their du jurisdictions. Uh, laws and uh, regulations should always be up to date. I believe that up to date laws need to be systematic, current, and relevant. <coughs> in addition, the public sector needs to enforce and implement the laws in the best interest of the public. On uh, economy, uh, job opportunities for locals. On social, our dependence on Nepalese or foreign security guards. 
then on technology uh, on how and on what type of technology uh, that we can use to enhance the management of security industry in short the aims of the research is to focus on the need to keep our laws up to date and to and how to how the security industry can benefit from technology Due to the time limitations, uh, the methods of collecting information are mainly through emails, uh, mobile and even through WhatsApp, and uh, also physical interview uh, with officials of the Home Health Ministry, uh, which is just a few kilometers away from my office. Given uh, these uh, constraints, I hope to gather relevant information from at least seven major security companies in the Klang Valley. For the research, I will be using mostly qualitative data and maybe a few uh, quantitative data, uh, hopefully to support the findings of the research. With all the information I collected, hopefully by 14 July, then uh, I will decide on whether I will uh, continue to use the PES analysis or SWOT analysis and uh, run the pros and cons for each uh, option. Based on the analysis using a relevant management, uh, management tool, I hope to use the Blue Ocean strategy in coming up with the relevant recommendations and proposals uh, for the research. I hope uh, that I will be able to address some of the issues in the research on uh, leadership, that leaders can be proactive by pursuing efforts to reform laws uh, identify and adapt to technology and also the need to work together with other stakeholders especially with the public for this research uh, of course with the security industry with that I end my presentation and I look forward uh, to get uh, the panel's feedback and some positive comments as well for me to finalize the research uh, in a timely manner, uh, I thank you.